Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So we got uh, Ike and Wolf going to PS2. Now, I know on Long Island we had like an insurgence of wolves really early on. Everyone was loving this character. Mr. E was leading the charge on him. And then after that week, just disappeared. All the wolves were doing really well. And Wolf has seemed like a character that's standing out really well. New Jersey's got a ton of wolves. I know Staten Island's got plenty of wolves. Uh, Zach Ray in Japan just took a massive tournament with yeah, wolves. He's, he's been bodying people in Japan. Man. Like, this is a character to watch out for. But what do, you, what do you think he's bringing to the table when he's got to fight a sortie like so? Yeah, so I, I think the main problem with Wolf and what some people don't like is that his disadvantage state is pretty bad. So when I say that, it's just like when Wolf gets thrown off the stage, he doesn't have a lot of options. Uh, his side B can be intercepted if you have a reasonable disjoint. Uh, and if he goes too low off the stage, you can't you kind of can't make it back. And he's also a fast faller. So <laughs> it leaves him susceptible to getting comboed. Yeah, so um, got the Nair up there. And um, I think this is a matchup uh, where if you let Ike close space, this would be pretty hard for Wolf. And I haven't been seeing a lot of gunplay coming from unknown. I actually haven't seen any gun as of yet. I feel like the gun would be really good just for at least slowing Soen down. Like we see Soen coming in with the forward airs and Nairs, and he's closing the distance really consistently. And I know it just seems like he's just walking right into it. Yeah, he's he's not really giving any counterplay to what Soen is doing. If Soen wants to be in your face, I mean, you can run away and shoot the gun if you want to. You have a projectile, but with that being said, got the up air and red red is uh, landing option with the back air. Yeah, the fact that Unknown's not playing it out a bit more patiently just seems confusing to me because he has a lot in his kit to like force a solid punish game, and he can bait well with the gun. Yeah, it just seems like Sone is just always sticking to him because he knows that Wolf has a, has a projectile. And it seems like he's just double jumping out of the range where Unknown could um, space out with his gun, but, you know, Unknown got a solid string with there with his forward airs, punishing Sone's approach. Expecting the air dodge. Gonna see some repositioning here at the ledge, but not gonna end up that stock yet. I know Stone's been haunting for those down air kills lately. Yeah, that, that down air reaches so far into the stage. It doesn't even two frame sometimes. It just legitimately just hits you um, under the stage. And that's a, and that parry right there from Unknown is something that a lot of people have been talking about since MK Liu's Nair train that he ran on that tournament. A lot of people have been speculating how to stuff out Ike's Nair. And one of the things people came up with was talking about parrying a lot, um, which is something that isn't really fleshed out yet in this meta. The problem with it is that, like, unlike in previous iterations of Smash, where perfect shielding was just the panacea of defenses, just like, you perfect shield it, you're fine. With parry, you have to know what your response is out of that parry. Like, not every character is going to have a fast enough option to, like, really make something out of it. And if you're not cognizant of what to do out of that parry, like, it's just wasted effort at that point. Yeah, and the risk of war that comes out of it sometimes isn't really the best, because it just like, looked like Unknown before he got hit with that back air, tried to parry that back air, and just exploded for it. And there's a down air that we've been talking about, man. That that sword just reaches all the way through the stage. It's a big sword. <laughs> Ike's a big man. It's a big man. He's wielding a two-handed sword on one hand, man. Like, uh, that's scary. Yeah, and, um, you know, good stuff by Soen. It just seemed like Unknown couldn't keep Soen away from him long enough to devise a game plan. Game 2 is bringing us to Final Destination as a response, and normally I feel like this would be a really strong pick for it because we know that Wolf can chain his combos laterally really well, but if he's not going to try to stop Ike coming in with his aerials, what's the point? Yeah, and right there, I, I think uh, we see the change of mindset in uh, um, Unknown, because the first thing he did was bear Ike right, right out of his jump. Yeah, right now he's, he's trying to start that Nair, that Nair train right in front of um, Unknown Shield. Like It seems like Unknown came into the game, too, with a completely different approach to the matchup, and it looks like he's holding center stage really well, which is super important when fighting any ice. Yeah, and it looks like he's controlling the pace more in this uh, second game than he was in the first game. It just seemed like Sone was in full control of game one at all times. And this is what we were talking about earlier, just finding ways to get away with Wolf's game plan, like find the way to start to punish, bait in Ike. Like Ike is able to come yeah. in respectably enough, but there's plenty of openings in his uh, his aerial game. Yeah, because the thing the thing about it is when Ike throws out that Nair, he has to jump every single time he does it. And even at that, the Nair takes a little bit to come out. So if you have a fast enough aerial, you could stuff that option if you read it. Or if you expect it, if you expect it to hit you. And good high recovery, just not even dealing with that um, Neutral be by Ike. Yeah, er eruption is insane at the ledge. 
with the space that it covers and its kill potential. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 a brave play right there. Trying to down air with the, and what much more conservative play with the forward tilt, trying to stuff the side B back onto the ledge. Ooh, that I like that shot. That was a really good shot, but someone managed to drift his way back. Only just barely though. If that was a little bit further from the stage or a little bit lower. Sone very well could have lost that stock relatively early. Yeah, so you see a no now always trying to meet Ike in the air now. So every time Ike is jumping, he's trying to hit him with either a forward air or maybe a nair just to get Ike out of his comfort zone. Because right there, it takes the nair a little time to come out. Yeah, it's funny that you brought up MK Leo's performance at Smash Conference because I was talking with Sone about it and his opinions because he, he, he believes Ike is solid in this game, but not like top five like everyone's heralding his character to be after MKLeo's victory. And it's really just the fact that like MKLeo played it out really well. He didn't let anyone expose Ike's faults. But yeah. I know it's got, like latched onto the one facet of the negatives of Ike's aerial game, and he's really going to town on it. Yeah, and um, it's one of those things where if you're afraid of the character, you're going to get exploited. Uh, it's kind of like Ganon in a sense, where if you play scared against Ganon, he's going to hit you for large damage. Now Ike on the other hand has <laughs> has a sword that can space safely on your shield. And if you don't do, if you don't handle that correctly, you're going to get exposed. Although Unknown has adapted pretty well as he holds a pretty substantial lead here in game two. Yeah, and the, the level of parries that he's been showing us, it's like it's really it's really good. He it looks like he caught onto the timing that someone is using with his areas. Now it's just a matter of the other side of the dance. How is Son going to adapt to this? Because we're looking at a very. Uh, very good likelihood of game three and I feel like the setting of it is having a big impact because as Final Destination a little bit smaller obviously no platforms to worry about and Unknown seems a lot more comfortable fighting on this kind of a stage yeah because one of the weaknesses that Ike has also is that he has he does have trouble landing um since he does have laggy arrows he doesn't really have an option that he can really mash down to the ground but with that being said taking that south the back air and you know they're both on their last stop maybe you can see someone run it back I feel like Unknown has just had such a confident lead this entire game, too. It would be almost disappointing to see like how he drops it, but it all starts with one hit. We'll see what Sun can do as he gets a little bit of a strength. Yeah, and I, I'm really loving these empty hops by uh, by Unknown. He's really just trying to get into Sun's zone however way he can, and not being intimidated what I can do in retaliation. Like, it's, it, like the main thing with fighting Ike is that you have to you have to realize you don't have to respect everything that he does, especially in there. Accidentally timed forward tilt out of the parry it is going to be bringing us into that game three. You know what's pretty funny? So uh, right after that tournament, Zonoto tweeted that stuffing it would be the best option, and also parrying the aerial since it's kind of uh, it, you could saw, you kind of see it coming. Yes. Yeah. So the thing about it is, if you could stuff Ike's aerials and parry it consistently, right? Um, I think that's a solid game plan that you can replicate. It's not something that's on the borderline of working. It's something that you could definitely keep do doing over and over again. But we're going to go back to PS2. All right. You don't run that DSS stuff over here, man. Not, not in the city. <laughs> Can't relate. Nope. But I feel like this is, at least if Unknown plays with the same play style that he showed in game two, or at least the same mindset of pressure in the air, don't respect the aerials, figure out where you can get those punishes out of parry. We might see the repeat result uh, regardless of the changed setting. But I know that this is a bit more of a comfortable battlefield for Ike for the sake of the fact that he's able to cover those platforms really well and he doesn't mind the fact that the stage is a bit wider. Yeah, and it's like, it's almost we're seeing like a night and day um, in between game one and game two and three where someone's pretty much just controlling the pace. And right now, we see a lot more shots coming out from Unknown. We see a lot more forwarders coming out to stuff his aerial. It's just a complete adaptation that we're seeing from Unknown. It's really impressive. Like, he's got the down mode, but there's layers to this battle, to mm. be sure. But reading the roll in, he's going to get it with the up smash, but not strong enough. Now, with that being said, I want to see what Sone has, to, you know, to counteract Unknown's change in gameplay. Because right now, it just seems like uh, Unknown is just calling out every single one of his approaches. Let's see if he can maybe change up the methodology and what, it, what he's doing. Like Aaron back here is not going to secure the kill just yet. doesn't seem like Sone has the spacing down pat right for getting the... Uh, the pick off on that update. You mentioned this earlier that there's not as much range for his recovery moves and it seems like it's almost like a blessing in disguise for Unknown because it's not disjointed as far and it's a bit more difficult for Ike to punish. Yeah, because he doesn't, doesn't have those fast arrows that can um, 
that could pretty much intercept Wolf side be like a lot of other characters do. So um, he kind of has to wait for Wolf to come back to the ledge to punish him. Oh, and oh, and that came back to haunt him. Just like you said, sometimes you don't know what to punish after you get that parry. Some characters don't have fast enough options, and you saw it right on display. Yeah, like it's just parrying itself is just not this like super great defensive option where if you land it, you're guaranteed advantage. Mm -hmm. Like you really have to know what you're going to do out of it. And earlier in game two, a lot of success we saw from Unknown was he was using forward tilt out of it. And forward tilt reaches a lot farther than it looks, and it looks like it reaches decently far. Yeah. Whereas forward smash, it packs a punch, and it has very little end lag, but the startup on it and its low reach means it's a pretty high commitment, especially out of parry. Yeah, um, and with that being said, it's, it seems like Unknown is taking, you know, taking back the game, taking back, taking back the pacing of this game. And um, what Sone is doing though, is Sone is delaying his arrows more than he, than he was before. Before he was just landing on him with Nair, now he's double jumping, now he's mixing up his aerial drift just so he could hit, you know, uh, Unknown with some of these Nairs. Another detail that you highlighted earlier is how well Unknown caught on to, like, the rhythm of the uh, the aerials that Sun was putting out. Ooh, yeah. In changing that up and with putting a bit more pressure on the ledge, it seems like Sun is taking the upper hand. However, he's sitting at 114. This is still a very even match. Yeah, Wolf, Wolf has these hard-hitting aerials, but if he keeps begin, being put in disadvantage like this, he might not get the chance. Yeah, the match chilling at the ledge is definitely not a space that Unknown wants to be in. He's, he ate a lot more damage than he really needed to. And only just now ending up that stock on Sun. We're staying in the last stock situation, so tension's high for both these players, but with the 51% deficit, I don't see this work cut out for him. Yeah, Sun right now, he's auto paddling these nares downwards, and um, I'm not sure if that is the best situation you'd want to do, do for yourself, because right now, Unknown is scouting that out, and he already ate 76% by just scouting his jumps. The dash attack just to further confirm the sledge control blaster not gonna land. The nair trading with the with with the wolf snare. Let's see if he's gonna recover. Okay, back to the ledge. I like it. If he tried to quick draw himself onto the stage, Anon was in plenty of a position to be able to punish the landing. And it's just another detail that we have to keep revisiting is that Ike's landings are poor. Yeah, but right now we're in the we're in the middle of the stage right now, and Ike definitely has enough firepower to kill. But got hit with the back air on whiff of his dash attack. All right, very solid adaptations from unknown. Let's him take the set. That game one was really brutal for him. It was a yeah, good yeah. wake up call. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> playing against playing against Ike of Sons level. That's definitely gonna wake you up, and he needed to adapt fast, and that's what he did. And